We are live. Yes, we are. We are live again. This time we're live in the ODE, Online Digital Education Group, Mastery Group, excuse me, as I drink my whiskey. Ah. Yep, Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, it's all whiskey to me. Welcome, my name is Gabriel. Today is Monday, December 7th. The year's almost over, people. It's not going to stop for you or anybody. Today, we're going to talk about how teachers can become teacherpreneurs through niche education. And this is something I've been talking about now for, and I'm going to continue to talk about for the next decade. Because, I don't know, about a month ago, I was reading uh, some statistics on a site called UNESDOC. UNES, like, like UNESCO. Uh, actually, it's UNESCO. Yeah, UN well, this is UNESDOC. DOC, like document. And, uh, you know, they do their, their research and, and, and they, you know, they, they query just about everything that's interesting, uh, you know, uh, financial, economics, you know, etc. world population, all that kind of stuff. Excuse me. And um, I was curious to find out how many teachers are needed on the planet right now because of the pandemic. Well, guess what? Good news for you, teachers. Uh, this, there's a shortage of 68.8 million teachers. And over the next decade, until 2030, that's the need, okay, that needs to be filled. Now, it's going to be filled one of two ways, right? It's going to be filled based on you being an employee and continue to be employed, slave to time and money, and, and, and all this devalued contracts with your board of education, whatever global name they'll have post-pandemic. Because you're in the digital era already, and you know that. You know, 20 years into this century, and, and, and you know, educators are still acting like, really? You know, we're in the 21st century? I got to adapt to Zoom? Don't. Continue to work for somebody else, okay, and realize that you're a dying breed. Or you could be the 21st century educator, that pathfinder, you know, that that educator that says, I'm not gonna go like like go die in a corner because of this new era, this change in, in, in mentality and whatever. So you're gonna be a teacherpreneur. And here's a fact. Niche education or an educational niche uh, is what's happening right now. And and out of that 68.8 million teachers. You know, I'm looking for one percent. Six hundred and eighty-eight thousand is my is my number. Six hundred and eighty-eight thousand teachers that through my Facebook community, ODE Mastery, Online Digital Education Mastery. Excuse me. I am going to, and I am already building and helping you build your teacher funnels. Funnels is a new way of saying website. Okay. And, and believe me, it's a lot better converting and it'll make you better money than, than the static websites that you're so used to. And if you're using WordPress, good luck. So that you can start, earn, and grow using Facebook. Where? With me, right here. Online digital education. And wait, and that's me right here. Look, let me get that banner down so that you can see that. All right. And that's me. Yeah, same guy. So here's the thing. 68.8 million teachers are needed in the next decade. I'm looking for 688,000 in the next 12 months to get you acclimated. Why? Because having the teacherpreneurial mindset, and it is a mindset, all right? You're in the digital era now, and if you're from my generation, which is, you know, born in the 60s, go, raised in the 70s, you know, 80s, all that kind of stuff, you remember the Jetsons. So if you don't have that teacherpreneurial mindset, or any preneurial mindset, you know, which is a valuable trait right now for the 21st century. Believe me when I tell you that you are highly regarded and necessary for the survival of your online business. Okay? You are highly regarded, and, and, and your experience and your academic achievements are highly regarded and necessary for your survival with your online business, niche education. And, and, and I, I talked about that last week and I did a video on it 
where, you know, creating a mini course, okay, an educational niche mini course, a 30 day self paced self education, you know, mini course uh, can generate you massive dollars done right. And it should be done right. Highly ethical, high value, all that kind of good stuff. I talk about that forever. This is my 49th video. Okay. Go look at the other one so you understand what I'm talking about. So, so let's move forward, right? How teachers can become teacherpreneurs through niche education? Well, as educators, we always ask what we wanted to be when we were growing up. Remember those days when you were asked, oh, what do you want to be, little Sally? Oh, what do you want to be, little Billy? Again, I want to be a policeman. I want to be a rock star. I want to be a dentist. And in some cases, okay, you may have stated, oh, I wanted to be the president of your respective country. I don't know why you want to do that, all right? But quite frankly, that's the wrong way to go. What you want to be is a, your own teacherpreneur, your own entrepreneur. All right, so this is the 21st century, and, and as educators, we, we should be asking what we want to build, what we want to sell, what we want to invent. You know, remember, and, and I didn't make this statement up, all right, or this quote, I forgot who said it, and I did it in one of my videos already. Uh, you know, a, a educators or teachers is the one profession that creates professions. You've read that, you've heard that before, and you know it's true. So, you're your own digital product now, and you can be on this digital arena, okay, the internet, Facebook, all right? As product builders, as job creators, okay, we should be shown how entrepreneurs play a vital role in the future of global economics, okay? We should be shown. I'm showing you that. How? By building your teacher funnels organically, okay, so that you can start, earn, and grow using Facebook, which means without paid ads. And if you could do that, understand this, all right? You can ask me for the link right now every Friday. There it is. Every Friday until forever, until my mentor gets tired, he blows up, he doesn't have room anymore. But I, I get the privilege of dropping 50 seats a week of educators like you, Okay, to learn how to what? Start growing earn using Facebook organically so that you can launch your digital education channel. Okay, create a mini course, which we teach you how to do all of that, earn massive money ethically. All right, and that leads me to my disclaimer. Let's get my disclaimer out of the way. Because every time I talk about massive money, all right, you know, people want to misunderstand that, like, you know, Get rich quick. This is not get rich quick. I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't get rich quick, okay, by creating an educational channel. I didn't get rich quick. All right. I did the hard work. I'm, as a matter of fact, I've done the hard work that you don't have to do. The only hard work you have to do is decide when you want to go to the webinar, and once you're there, how soon you want to start working on, okay, Putting your educational niche together on Facebook. We, we support you on that. I support you on that. But we're not going to do the hard work for you. Because, look, it takes about four months. It really does. You know, from start to finish. Now, en route, okay, you also learn how to do affiliate marketing, digital marketing for, you know, a product that you that you believe in. All right? I believe in click funnels. This is why we talk about teacher funnels because it's the new website building, you know, technology. It is not new in the sense that it's like two years old. It's like five years old. But it's a lot newer than your, your, your typical website of builders, which have been around for 20, 30 years already. So like everything else, look, if you had a DVD player, that went away, right? So the same thing with websites, okay? They become obsolete. They become stale and something new comes around. A new selling process, and this is it. It's called a funnel. You're going to hear different terminology about that. But hey, look, at the end of the day, if you want to do this right, it's going to take some time. But as you're doing it right, learn how to be your own digital affiliate marketer, digital marketer, okay? And you can either do the one funnel away challenge, 30-day challenge. Ask me for the link. I give it to you. It's 100 bucks, okay, for 30 days. And you're going to get a lot more value out of 100 bucks than you do when you spend $100 buying snacks. So it's a big difference, 
Okay? You're getting an education for 100 bucks. It's going to give you long-term sustainability on the internet. Prior to the 10 years that it's going to take to fill 68 million teachers, 69 million teachers. You know, so come on, guys. Jump on board. But here's my disclaimer. This is not a get-rich-quick, you know, program. If you want get-rich-quick, get out. Go to somebody else. All right, nor will you get the fairy dust secrets to win a billion dollars and all that fancy fake stuff that most people accept. That's the truth. Look, you don't get that here. What you get here is the raw truth. The raw truth is you got to do the work, all right? Not everybody's going to do the hard, the work, the hard work, any work. Nobody, not everybody. But there is 1% or 68, 688,000 teachers who will do the hard work globally, that is. You know, if I get a count of this, U.S. teachers, forget about it. U.S. teachers is just a mess right now. So if you can afford it, and it's 100 bucks for a 30-day, you know, uh, digital education that'll teach you a lot, all right, ask me for the link. I'll give you that, too. So since people's desires, information, and abilities evolve over time, teacherpreneurs need to learn self-reflection and map out what they like, what they are good at, how they can impact others, and how much others value your contribution. All this is part of your growth cycle. And it takes about, you know, a good 90 to 120 days. If you're doing it right and you're doing it every day, and you should, but as you're going along, you learn how to monetize five different ways. So you want to start with simple examples, okay, that demonstrate how the classic example of, let's say, making and selling muffins in the front yard uh, can be used to teach concepts of market assessments, product packaging, but you're not going to be packaging any products physically. This is all digital. So, you, you know, your digital packaging has got to be beautiful. It's got to be something that's honest and has high integrity, has high value, has a less BS on the label than what you're already accustomed to. You know, you want to be able to provide a sample, high value, free course, Lesson maybe, you know, things like price estimation, customer research, you know, branding, you know, all these things that entail becoming a teacherpreneur, entrepreneur, kidpreneur, mompreneur, solopreneur, you know, whatever the preneur, all right, you got to learn how to do that. So the example should span the services sector, your niche sector, okay, such as, you know, let's say, uh, you know, local vegetable sellers offering less useful lessons as well. You know, how to pitch fresh products. You know, how to pitch seasonal deals. How to how to pitch, you know, the preferences of your family members. Look, maybe you got, maybe you come across uh, some kind of like, I'm going to say Latinos because I'm Latino. But, you know, Latino family that's looking for uh, a, a niche educator, you know, to help them with accent, maybe pronunciation, maybe you know, understanding English, whatever the niche is, whatever your target audience is, okay, you know, you got to focus on a product or a service, okay, that can become a seriously high value, you know, experience for that person, that, that family, okay, it's got to be a good experience, so provide that to them, right, you want to use local and global examples, you know, tech-savvy educators are familiar with digital media. And when I mean tech-savvy educators, I mean those educators, you know, that were born in 1980, okay? And because they were born in 1980, they were born onto the Internet era when it was just launching, right? So, you know, you want to be familiar with digital media, okay, so that the stories behind the creation, for example, of like Amazon, Facebook, and Google start to resonate, okay, easily with, your audience, your dream audience, your dream customer, okay? So teachers, you know, who are also familiar with, like, local brands in their markets, you know, uh, you know, let's call it, I don't know what market, but my market, I, things like 7-Eleven, Target, Barnes & Normals, you know, Starbucks, IHOP, and Albertsons, you know, if you're familiar with local brands, you know, this will give you an idea as to how to create your niche and make it familiar you know, to your local community. Your, your, your niche may be just in your neighborhood. It may be global. You have yet to discover that. But many 
teacherpreneurs, okay, or many entrepreneurs, you know, they started younger than we are, all right? And while being students becomes particularly inspiring when you see that other successful companies had young founders. And see, that's a beautiful thing, all right? Now you start to resonate with people who are in the tech industry and they were young when they discovered, you know, their business. For example, the founder of ClickFunnels, Russell Brunson, okay, uh, he had his first success as an online marketer selling a software called Zip Brander in 2003. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. So let me see, what is this? Let's look at this. I got a comment here, so we're going to pause this for a second. Let me look at this comment. It's a long comment here. It says here, dear English teachers, you will find it hard to make your learners read fluently. You can help your students with learning and sight words. Sight words are basically high-frequency words. It means these words that disappear quite frequently while reading. So in order to have smooth and fluent reading experience, learning these words is needed. There are five stages which I have made for your students. Look at that. I'm being spammed. Oh, yeah. I can't wait till I'm done with this because I'm going to go ahead and unspam that person from my group immediately. So let's talk about where I was. Okay. Let's get back to my notes. You know, people like Russell Brunson, and I talk a lot about Russell Brunson because I use ClickFunnels, and it's, it's the, the funnel environment that I choose, you know, to create my funnels all in one. I think it's very... It, it, it's very user friendly because it's not technical. You know, it's all drag and drop Lego style block environment. So Russell Brunson had his first success online in 2003. Okay. Two years later in 2005, he created another product selling how to create the potato gun DVDs. That's an amazing thing. Potato gun DVDs. And these initial products launched Russell into the world of internet marketing. And within a year of graduating college, he made his first million dollars selling his products. The limitations and obstacles Russell encountered with the technology required, okay, to bring his sales funnels to life became the birthplace of the idea of his software company, ClickFunnels. I'm a ClickFunnels member, ClickFunnels affiliate, okay? Now, together with his partner, Todd Dickerson, Russell has launched the sales funnel software Okay, in October of 2014. And the company has grown to a hundred over, actually, over a hundred million dollars in the first three years. No venture capital needed at all. Currently, ClickFunnels has over a hundred thousand active users. And if you ask me for the link, I provide that for you. Okay, you can subscribe, get your ClickFunnels account going so that you can start working on your teacher funnel. And we provide that for you. We provide you the framework for free so that all you got to do is just tweak it. You don't even have to build it. And it imports into your account automatically. So to be a teacherpreneur, all right, to start thinking like a teacherpreneur, you want to emphasize, you know, how to identify problems through a range of examples, okay? Teacherpreneurship begins by spotting problems. Find a problem that you can solve, okay, as an educator and then niche it down. For example, you've identified a problem with vocational school classes. And, and you know, they're offered an online space, uh, self-paced 30-day uh, option. That's a good problem to identify because a lot of vocational school teachers, they're not thinking online yet. They're not, and if anything, they're not thinking, how can I work online? This is a problem that can't be solved, you know, with your funnel. But you gotta, you got to be looking at that, right? you got to be looking to solve a problem that is highly needed for your audience, for your students, right? Grasp the importance of money, okay? Grasp the importance of money since financial st sustainability can be key, can be a key challenge uh, for most teacherpreneurs. So learn who, not how. And I've talked about that, all right? A lot of times we get the who, right? We, oh, we get the how, we get to an obstacle and we're like, how do I get around this? Well, it's not about the how. It's about who do you know that can help you get around it. Because if you start to think about how to do it, you start to deviate from your goal, and then you end up trying to learn something else just so you can resolve the how, and then you forget about your goal, and it becomes a long-term mess, and procrastination you know, steals your time, and you probably never reach that goal. But if you ask and learn 
the who, there's a lot of who's, and I provide you with a community of a lot of who's, people who have been through a lot of these challenges and obstacles that when you come across a brick wall and you ask, who can help you get past this? I got a lot of people in the community that I serve is huge. My mentors community is 10,000 plus, and the ClickFunnels community is 1.2 million and, 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 and I think stronger than that. So you got a lot of people in, in the funnel community, all right, that will provide you with the answers that you're looking for. So learn the who, not the how. You know, learn to invest in yourself as well. All right, to be a teacherpreneur, you want to be able to do that. Invest in yourself. If it's gonna cost you a hundred bucks to do it, do it. If it's gonna cost you a thousand bucks to do it, do it. Okay. If you're thinking of getting, you know, a new education, new degree, a master's, and paying 30, 40 grand for that, because you think that's gonna help you out in the future. You know what? This is not for you. Go go run and go do that now. As a teacherpreneur, you want to learn how to build relationships online. Digital relationships is not the same as your brick and mortar and, and, your, and your water cooler relationships. This is different. You want to learn how to scale your revenue, ascend your value ladder, and profit from upsells and one-time offers with skills-based high-value services. This is something that you learn on Friday's webinar, all free. Okay, we provide you with the framework, okay? It's up to you to take action. So if you want to go to this webinar, I got 50 seats available every week, and I fill them up fast. You know, you can watch a replay, but it's not the same thing as being there live where you can ask questions and actually participate and be interactive with the rest of the group. That's the, 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 a lot of people that are going to be there. So I'm usually there as well, you know, and... Everybody's there for the same reason, okay? You're looking to make some money moving forward online and learn how to work for yourself because you have something that you want. You have an experience that you want to share. You have a message or a mess, edge, okay, that your, your, your brick-and-mortar counterpart, you know, doesn't have. This is your breakthrough, and you have a support group that will have it. So, listen, hashtag, the, you know, drop me, send it. And I'll send you the link for that webinar every Friday until my mentor gets tired. You know, there's, there's, there's a, I don't know, some kind of health issues, you know, an asteroid hit the planet, whatever the case may be. You know, it's going to run continuously every Friday until such time. So you want to learn how to leverage your social media savviness by creating digital content on your social media newsfeed. This is something that we, we collaborate with you, teach you how to do. I'm doing it, been doing it, okay? This can be used to showcase your marketing strategies. Whatever your strategy is, my strategy right now is very concrete, okay? I'm looking to help 688,000 teachers transition from brick and mortar mentality to the digital arena, okay? Help you launch, okay, your educational niche on Facebook. So you can start growing and earn Using Facebook organically. What does organically mean? Without paid ads. Very little money. If anything, zero dollars. And look, and if you got to pay for something, I'm going to keep saying this because you need to understand this. If you got to spend a hundred bucks, spend a hundred bucks. Just that simple. If you're thinking hundred dollars in snacks or a hundred dollars to invest in myself, invest in yourself. It's just that simple. If you don't, nobody's going to hold your hand. You can lead a teacher to water, but you can't choke the crap out of them, okay, and help them understand. I could care less, to be honest with you, all right? Nobody gets their arms twisted here, okay? But you do get your minds twisted, all right? And that's the decision you got to make. Do I want snacks or do I want to invest in myself? It's just that simple. All right, so this can be used to showcase your marketing strategies. Do not focus on instant gratification. I'm telling you right now, if you're thinking about a billion dollars tomorrow, you don't belong here, okay? If you don't want to do the hard work, you don't belong here. You already did the hard work to get a, a master's degree or whatever, a bachelor's degree in education, whatever area of education you're a teacher in, all right? If you don't want to do the hard work, which is less time than it took you to get your degree, go away. All right, look, instant gratification, all that social media popularity, likes and all that crap, you're going viral, okay? That's called digital crack, digital crack kills it kills your dreams it kills your future all right if that's what you want get out we don't do that here we're not going to do that here
We encourage you to be self-paced, to have self-educated mini courses, which generate revenue. It helps you to be a mentor or a guide from this perspective, okay, using your experience and academic achievements. A 30-day mini course at $97 a month, okay, may be better than a weekend crash course. Yeah, that's six figures already, right? A self-educated mini course at $97 a month for 30 days. One 30-day mini course, 97 bucks. Boom, you're done. That's it. A 90-day, imagine that. You want to give a little bit of value, a 90-day mini course at $249. That's an advanced program. Okay, that may be a better upsell value, you know, to a lot of people. You could do that too. You could do them both in parallel. You're going to have your 30-day mini course at $97. And you can offer the, the 90 day, you know, advanced mini course for 249. That really is a bargain for high value education, niche education. If you got the, the background to do that, do it. Because let me tell you something failures are your superpower. And if you have failed online already in the past and you're wondering why, it's probably because you didn't have the right blueprint. That's it. Okay, so you should be featured, you know, you know, you should feature this as part of your journey and learning curve. All right. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that you didn't take the right road or whatever. It's part of the learning curve. Use that as your superpower. Okay, because failing does not make you a failure. Being afraid of failing does. Don't show that to your students. Show your students that it's okay to fail as long as you learn from those mistakes. All right? The journey of every teacherpreneur is different, right? So it's impossible, okay, to give you an exact roadmap. It is. It's impossible. Everybody goes a different way. Everybody wants to go a different way. I went a different way. And sometimes I had to come back to the, to the beginning just to be like, oh, man, I missed that exit again. You know, so instead, guidelines, principles, and tools help you along the way. That's what we provide you, guidance, instruction along the way. Teacherpreneurs often tackle problems, okay, for which there are no clear rules or formulas in the manuals. There are none. You get to write those rules. You get to write those formulas because it was your experience. Your answers will come from asking your community collaborators, me, everybody else in the community, my mentors community, ClickFunnels community, okay, and sharing with them as well as you embark on this daily trek, daily. You want to make it happen, you got to do it every day. So it happens. Usually it takes 90 to 120 days, and then from there now you're autopilot and you're working it, but now you're working it with less, you know, let's say, you know, uh, rhythm, because you understand what you got to do. You already built the framework and the solid foundation, so you're going to be, you're going to take a step back now and watch it happening and just work on revenue. That's what CEOs do with their own business. They work on revenue, all right? This is not a weekend gig. This is a lifetime commitment of excellence for you to convict with, convict and have conviction for excellence. That's all you gotta do. Share this advice, okay, with other successful teacherpreneurs, all right? Providing positive stories of change. Instead of the negative news dominating Main Street media, like, oh, look what's happening, you know? And whatever, wherever state you live in, whatever country you live in, you know, the media just distracts people from their true purpose, their focus, their goals, whatever. If you like that, go for it. Get out. If you want to stay focused and get it done, avoid all that crap. Your full-time commitment is key to avoiding the negative virtual water cooler chatter. You know, did you hear what happened and what's going on? Look, focus on your future. Because your past is done, all right? Your singular focus leads to a growth opportunity and success, even in the face of critics and naysayers. It just does. That's been proven time and time again, all right? If you want to get rich quick, get out. It's not going to happen here, all right? You want to measure your outcomes and experiences. This is part of the daily discipline, the daily habits that you need to build up, okay? These include decision-making, taking responsibility and ownership, you know, accountability, Skills in listening and collaboration, ability to experiment and take risks, and appreciate the role of money in your business. You know, I say this, and I've said this many times, I say this in my welcome video, I think. 
you are magnificent and appreciated as an educator. You are. But now is your time, okay? It is your time to start growing and earn using Facebook or any other platform. It doesn't matter because look, I choose play I choose Facebook. Facebook. Uh, for one simple reason, it's 2.7 billion people. I can generate 100 students out of that. That's easy. Okay. Um, if you're going to do it on, let's say, on any other platform, and you know you got less subscribers than Facebook, you know you got a task ahead of you. But it doesn't matter. It's your task. It's your conviction. It's your will that's going to get you there. All right. So, whatever platform you choose, the same philosophy applies. Okay. 90 days to 120, you can make it happen. But you got to have these teacherpreneurial, you know, mindset, you know, right? To become a teacherpreneur, to have your niche educational channel, you need to adopt a lot of what we spoke about today, okay? In saying all of that, this is Online Digital Education Mastery. Again, you are magnificent, right? Drop me a hashtag live, hashtag replay. You want the hashtag send it for this webinar link on Friday, okay? Anything else that you need, hashtag whatever. Hashtag ODE, mastery, online digital education mastery. My name is Gabriel, and it's always cool talking to my you know, community. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you.